I am seeing I'm seeing your mother at the other side. If your mother is not late and she's alive, then she needs to be prayed for because I'm seeing her and she's at the other side. We need to pray for your mother because where she is spiritually, she's calling for help. Uh, is she okay? Not really 100%, I would say. No, she had just lots of ailments, health ailments. She had a back operation years back and then she had the two procedures done on her back to help her get her back on her feet and she had a shoulder operation last year. She's a diabetic. From today, there will be stability in your work. I prophesy that That's in the name exactly of Jesus. That's exactly what I prayed. That's exactly what I prayed yesterday and mm. even this morning. Everywhere you go, people speak behind your back. People give you name behind your and back. I exactly shared that with my younger daughter. Literally, I shared that with her two mm. days ago. Mm. What is the problem with your chest? Do you have pain in your chest? The left side of my chest, mm. but this has been caused by a pain I've suffered for many years on my left side of shoulder and neck. Even stomach as well. The Spirit of God is a prayer against uh, exactly. sto stomach pain as well, stomach ache as well. And this, the, the Spirit of God is saying to me, I should tell you to stay away from starchy food, starchy food. Not that you minimize okay. on it, you stay away from it. If I say starchy food, you know what I'm talking about? But I know they are not, they are, they are not comfortable with my stomach. Oh, you know, you are aware. Say fire, fire, fire. Yeah. You, will, you say fire, fire, fire. <laughs> the Spirit of God said there is an attack on the way coming towards your leg. So prayer should be offered. Because I have issues with my lower back and sometimes I suffer cramps. You mean cramps in your leg? Yeah. This is Strictly Prophetic with the Global Prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King. Heavenly Father, we pray and commit this session into your capable hands. And we ask for the release of your glory and your presence. We pray that the heavens will open and the eyes of the eagle shall be released upon my life to see into the supernatural and minister to your daughter with evidence and solution. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. Why are you why are you looking for your dad? Because in the realm of the spirit, in fact you are complaining about your dad. Um possibly I make it I think it's because we with myself and my sibling, we didn't grow up with our dad. Uh, because he was in exile, and uh, when he came back, um, things went the way we expected it to be. So he he didn't really like took the fatherly responsibility as such. Um, but despite that, we it's not. I do mention it, but it's not that I've got any grudge against him. Where is he now? Um, he's at home. Where is home? Namibia. Okay. Okay. Um, when was the last time you sent something to your dad? Well, I... I... It gave him a gift a couple of months ago okay like how many months i'm just trying to uh, clarify what i'm seeing in the spirit so bear with me okay how many months ago okay. i should be maybe around maybe four months and a bit okay 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 all right you you show it's good you've done that i'm very happy i'm very happy you've done that but do it more often okay do it more often yeah. as much as he wasn't there for you in the realm of the spirit there is a vacuum which is affecting you spiritually unfortunately spiritually there is a vacuum from uh, your father's side mm. the spirit of god is saying there is a blessing in front of you concerning work there's a blessing in front of you concerning work, but I see also at the same time an attack, an attack on you, and I saw loss of job. 
So you are between two things now, something that is fighting your work and then also a blessing that is hanging over you concerning work. Depending on which one man spot on. Spot on. Uh -huh. uh, explain to me. Um, I joined uh, one job um, last November. Okay. And uh, last week, Thursday, I had a meeting and with my management and they um, said that they're not quite happy with my performance. And as a result, they referred me to another company and going there to see them uh, this Tuesday, they were like, we don't have any awareness of about us giving a job down here. And, um, and yesterday I have to go to my other former job and which they were happy to take me back on board. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I was saying, Lord, I'm just tired of keep on moving from one place to the next. Mm, 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 mm. I, I felt really good tiredness. From today, there will be stability in your work. I prophesied that that's in the exactly name of Jesus. That's exactly what I prayed. That's exactly what I prayed yesterday mm. and even this morning. There will be, sta be stability in your work. I see you in the realm of the Spirit planting planting on a, on a fertile ground. You are, you are planting corn on a fertile ground. And the Lord is saying, Amen. what will sustain what will sustain your career going forward are two things. You need a blessing of a father, a spiritual father figure. So the Lord is asking you to become a partner in his kingdom, a partner in his kingdom. You have to become a partner in the kingdom of God, whether it is a seed, you will be giving your pastor or the church or a tithe you'll be giving an anointed man of god or the church god is going to use it as the basis to establish to establish your career and your finances and stability will come in your work and in your career Amen. stability will come did you hear what i said because believers yes. believers and christians anything that has to do with money is not coming from god they will take every other prophecy, but if it has to do with them sowing into the church, that one is not from God. So this one, I want you to take it serious, and I'm not asking you to bring it to me, to give it to me. No. Good, 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 good. The church, the church you go to, you partner with the church. Okay. Uh, if you are led, okay. if you are led and there is any man of God, you feel the grace on the man of God can work on you and for you, you, you partner with the man of God also. That is how God is going to connect with your career and this issue of loss of job because there is something following you. What is following you is envy. Everywhere you go, people speak behind your back. People give you name behind your I, back. I exactly shared that with my younger daughter. Literally, I shared that with her two mm, days ago. Mm. Mm. So, what you are going to do, otherwise, even where you are, the same spirit of envy and jealousy that makes people speak behind your back. When you turn around and you look at them, they smile at you and they laugh at you. But when you are not there, they speak behind your back and they mention names. They give you names. The same spirit will repeat itself again, even at where you are, and you will not be settled. So, the prophecy or the direction is that become a tighter partner with the house of God. Partner with the house of God. And it is not because God cannot take care of his own. own. It is because God wants to use that opportunity to bless you. Amen. To bless you. Mm. Amen. Mahadabayadaba. Labrakatabayadaba. You want to say something? Yes, I wanted you, man of God, to pray over my marital affairs. I'm coming there. Hmm. Thank you. I'm coming there. Can I go there? Yes, man of God. Okay. Before I go there, I want, I want to ask you one question before I go into your marital issues. Are you currently married, yes or no? Yes. Okay. All right. Why or what the Lord has mentioned that I speak to you about is that the Spirit of God said, there have been this spirit of confusion and disappointment 
which has been following you in the area of your marriage and even presently the marriage where you are in the spirit of god said prayer must be offered against the spirit of confusion because then it is going to cause heartache to the point that if you are not careful you'll be diagnosed of blood pressure bp because of marital confusion and pressure at home at home if prayer is not offered Definitely, I'm seeing it, confusion leading to disappointment. And this disappointment is going to break your heart. Because even now, I am feeling the pain you are feeling in your heart. I'm feeling the pain you are feeling in your heart, even now as I'm speaking to you. So it means there's already something, there's already a problem that is causing you pain in your heart. But I'm going to pray for you. And the, the Most High God is going to intervene. The Most High God is going to step in that situation and there will be peace and harmony and tranquility between you and your husband from today. The spirit of confusion, I curse it. The spirit of misunderstanding, I curse it. The spirit of insecurity, I curse it. The spirit of secret, secrecy, secrecy, I curse it. And I pray that there will be harmony. There will be oneness. There will be togetherness. Amen. Father, I pray Amen. in the name of Jesus. Every heaviness Amen. in the home of your daughter, let the brightness of the light and the glory of God shine in that home and drive away that spirit of heaviness, that spirit of tension, that spirit of confusion in the name Amen. of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of the living God. I bring affection. I bring affection between you and your husband. I bring harmony. Amen. I bring love. I bring romance Amen. between you and your husband in the name Amen. of Jesus, the Son Amen. of the Living God. Son of the Living God. Amen. What, what, is, what is the problem with your chest? Do you have pain in your chest? Left side of my chest, mm. but this has been caused by a pain I've suffered for many years on my left side of shoulder and neck. Shoulder and neck. And that pain even, always, yeah. Even stomach as well. The Spirit of God says pray against uh, exactly. sto stomach pain as well, stomach ache as well. And this exactly. stomach ache, this stomach ache, this stomach ache is even more serious than all the attacks you are having. Because the stomach ache I am seeing, the enemy is trying to attack your organs and once these organs fail like a liver or kidney it means there's no more life because the liver and the kidney is what sustains the entire body yeah i pray and i shoot the bullet of the blood of jesus i decree and i declare divine healing over you I decree and I declare divine healing over you. I decree and I declare divine healing over you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Right now, I have entered into a market in Namibia. I have entered into a spiritual market in Namibia. And in that market, all the people that are in the market are people who have witchcraft. They are people who have witchcraft. And I saw in the realm of the spirit that they are selling a kidney and a liver and the spirit of god said the kidney and the liver they are selling belongs to her so as you pray pray that i will restore her and i pray that the archangels of god will stand by me in the realms of the spirit whoever is selling your kidney and your liver in the realms of the spirit that will cause physical diagnose of liver failure of kidney failure May the Lord God strike them with lightning and thunder. And may the Lord restore unto you by the power of the Almighty. May the Lord restore unto you your kidney and your liver. That frequent stomach ache that comes and goes. I rebuke it from today. It shall, no, it shall not come anymore. That pain you have on your shoulder, that pain you have on your neck, I rebuke it from today. It shall come back no more. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. The Spirit of God said, the Spirit of God said, there are, witch, there are witches and wizards that are fighting you and they want to place blindness on you. So you'll be having a lot of itchiness of the eye. And therefore the Lord said, I should tell you to stay away from eating groundnut, groundnut or peanut. Okay. 
Okay. Peanut. Amen. Otherwise, okay. you will develop problem with your eye that medication will not solve. It's more spiritual than physical. It's more spiritual, physical, spiritual than physical. Ah, the, the Spirit of God is saying to me, I should tell you to stay away from starchy food. Starchy food. Not that you minimize okay. on it, you stay away from it. If I say starchy food, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Why, you've been eating starchy food a lot? Food um, that have starch in them? Now and again. Mm. Now and again. Mm. But I know they're not, they are, they are not comfortable with my stomach. Oh, you know, you are aware. Say fire, fire, fire. Yeah, anyway, yeah. You will, you say fire, fire, fire. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You are aware that you are not comfortable with because anytime you eat it, it it reacts. Your tummy reacts. Yeah. Wow. 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 Say fire, 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 fire. Mm. I am seeing. I'm seeing your mother at the other side. If your mother is not late and she's alive, then she needs to be prayed for because I'm seeing her and she's at the other side. How is she? Not really 100%, I would say. She's not feeling well? No, she had just lots of ailments, health ailments. She had a back operation years back, and then she had the two procedures done on her back to help her get her back on her feet. And she had a shoulder operation last year. She's a diabetic. And uh, yeah, lots of other health issues. Mm. Okay, I'm going to pray for your mom right now. God will help her because mm -hmm. the Spirit of God has mentioned her. God wants her to be prayed for. So he can stand on this prayer and fight for your mother. So I'm going to pray for your mother. But before I pray for your mother, uh, I see an arrow that has been shot in the realm of the Spirit. And the arrow is coming towards your leg. The Spirit of God said there is an attack on the way coming towards your leg so prayer should be offered amen prayer should be offered uh, yeah because i have issues with my lower back and sometimes i suffer cramps you mean cramps in your leg yeah when the cramps comes is it very painful very painful very painful your prophecy yeah. is so accurate though. say fire 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 Fire, 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 fire. Now, what is the what is the issue in your marriage that you want me to pray about? Is it what I mentioned, or uh, there's more to it? What what you mentioned. Wow. And on top of that, we live in separate. Exactly. Um, and uh, I'm looking for clear direction, divine direction, whether. I sh we should carry on the way we are at the moment and seeing each other just, you know, mm. say once a year or, or because if, if that's the way that we have to be in the same place, I'm trusting God for finances that can sustain us. Mm. Of course, so, you are. Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King is worth hearing. <laughs>